Hey guys, Matt from Ultimate City Source. Today I've got a video for you guys. Um, that's a very, very cool tweak I just found in Cydia. Um, I know it's been around for, I think, a decent amount of time, but I personally just found it. I don't know how many other YouTubers have it, but I wanted to just show you guys. Um, so let me just pose the question: How many times, if you have an iPhone 4, which you can't tell on screen, but I do, um, how many times do you have your iPhone 4, or your iPod Touch 4 sitting in front of you? And you stare at those ugly, ugly App Store icons and think, when are the developers can get off their lazy butts and update them to be right now? Well, you know what? No longer wait. Today, guys, I have a tweak that will automatically fix all your App Store icons so that they will be retinaized. I don't know if you guys can tell, but all my uh, icons in the skin folder almost were retinaized now, uh, such as the Arcade Bowl, uh, Battleship, Ferrari GT, I Shoot. They're all updated now, uh, thanks to this tweak I'm about to show you. They're all updated now to Retina Display Status. Status, yeah. Um, and this is this does require intermediate level. Uh, this will require a couple things. First off, you will be requiring a jailbroken iPhone 4. If you don't know how to do that, annotation will be on screen. On screen, you can just click my iPhone 4 or my iPhone anywhere on it, and it will link you to my How to Jailbreak video on iOS 4.1. And if not, it will still be the same way. But, um, yeah, you'll need a jailbroken iPhone. You won't need a lot, lot of skill. You'll just need really patience. Um, that's key. So let's just get started. Okay, the first thing you need is mobile terminal. If you need a guide on how to get that, there is a link in the description. You'll just need this .dev and to install it somehow via SSH, the .dev. You can also install it, I don't know if you guys know, in iFile. Let me just show you guys that you can put it anywhere in the system and then if you open up iFile like I'm about to show you you can just go back to stash and then go up, I put mine in private and then you can click here and click install and then just respring then you will get mobile terminal all you're gonna do is you're oh, I'm sorry guys I'm skipping way ahead of you okay so once you have mobile terminal installed we're gonna wanna go into Cydia that is key just let it load and you will need to add a re uh, repo or a repository for this or a source whatever you wanted to call it um, so let's just wait for this to load go to your manage tab click sources edit add you're gonna add the source in the description below um, I don't know if you guys can see it actually right now because you can see it says reloading data but the source is repo Oops, sorry about that repo dot insanely I like that dot com oh, oops. so yeah you want to add that repo if you don't see it it is in the description below for you guys um, so once you have that just wait for it to load then you're gonna go to the I section let's see and you're gonna click where is it I apologize okay guys um wow okay let me just get it pulled up for you guys. I believe it's that one. If not, I will. Okay. I do apologize for this, guys, real quick, not having this ready. Okay, so you can see it's iRetina. -er. You'll just need to install that tweak. Um, and I don't believe it requires a respring at all, but if it does, just respring. Pause the video if you need to at this point. Once that is installed, you're going to open up your terminal now. And you'll type in SU, and then hit return. And unless you have changed it, your password will be Alpine. So you'll just type in Alpine. Then you'll need to type in iRetina. -er. Just like that. Hit return. And you can see this is all like Italian or something, whatever. But um, there is a site that I found online that was kind enough to put it all in English for you. Um, so you'll see you want to put it as number one. Uh, link to that will be the third link in the description too if you need that. So we'll just type in number one and then hit Y for confirm. Then you'll see it will start running through all your different App Store apps to convert to Retina display quality. Now this should not be a very long process given that your iDevice 4G is fast. Then all you do is hit Y for a respring. And I'll just wait for my iPhone 4 to respring and I'll show you guys. Now obviously you see, did see that I had done it before so that was kind of in, unfair but Trust me guys, this does work and it's amazing. I, I guarantee that you will be satisfied with the results. Should you not be satisfied at all, 
as you saw, I don't know if you guys saw actually, um, when you go right here, there is an option to restore the old ones. So should you want to show off to your friends how you can do it, you just type 2 instead of 1, and that will restore the old non-retina quality. Should you choose to leave the retina, though, you can actually probably just leave it as is. Uh, you could probably even delete mobile terminal if you'd like to. So, guys, this is Matt from Ultimate City Source. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on this video. Um, yeah, just let me know what you think of it, if it helped you. Um, I know I personally noticed a huge difference, and my iPhone 4 seems very just remarkable again and how sharp the retina display is. So leave your comments below with what you thought of iRetina or... Um, and what you want to see in my future videos. So like, comment, and subscribe for more. I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.